Week four produces a three and two record, and that'll give me a twelve and nine record overall. My uh, two losses, of course. <laughs> well, if you watch the last one, you'll understand. Now, as for this week, week five, we start off in Baltimore, where the Ravens host the Broncos and saddle up on them, thirty-seven to twenty-four. Then we go over to Oakland Coliseum, where the Raiders will be electrocuted by the San Diego Superchargers. Chris Berman, love you, man. The San Diego Chargers will electrocute the Oakland Raiders. 20-3. Then we go to Detroit, where... The St. Louis Rams on their two and two uh, start, which is a surprise, will go. Will have their day with the Lions in this animal scuffle, and win 2014 and a double up. My upset special. Yes, I know the Chiefs are undefeated, but they are at Lucas Oil Stadium, and that's still going to be more than enough to determine the Chiefs are still top dog. They take out Manny and the Colts 35-32 in a shootout. My upset special, it's at the new Meadowlands Stadium once again. And this time, Favre returns. Well, Favre was a Jet before he became a Viking. And before the Jet, he became a Packer. But that's a different story. thing is, Favre is taking on the number one ranked defense from 2009. And it's going to be pretty apparent when uh, the Jets beat them 20 to 10. Primetime games of week six you can vote on. First off, Manning takes on McNabb. It's the Colts going to FedEx Field and taking on the Redskins on Sunday Night Football on NBC. Then, Tennessee and Jacksonville. Do I need to say anything else? The Titans take on the Jaguars at Everbank Field on ESPN's Monday Night Football.